Cube one. Hey guys, we are coming back. Um, we we're gonna wait for Friar Morton Bixby to show up, but I think he fell out a window, so we're back now. A little bit late. Um, what's the plan? You guys have built a pixie house. You have a very small pouch of pixie dust. So the only activities we have left are the dress and. We should really take it back. We don't know about the dog. Well, what was, no, no. What was the uh, dress thing? Bob is saying. So we only have two things left to do, right? The dress and uh, the bachelor party. What, yeah. what were the instructions about the dress? I missed that while I was planning the bachelor party. Um, Lizzie needs a dress. Ryan, we are live. Oh, okay. No. Don't say anything embarrassing. Yeah. Don't say anything. We can get a dress. A Coronado original. Uh, Do we know what size she is, dude? Someone's going to have to figure that out. Someone's going to have to go measure Lizzie. Who wants that job? I was going to say that we could go ask Desmond for her size, but I have a feeling he yeah, has Mort no idea. Morton's a proficient seamstress. He's already on the way. Whereas, I yeah, and I've been to, we've been to Desmond's house before. So. Yes, you have. <laughs> you shudder at the horrible memories as you arrive at Desmond's house. <laughs> Yeah. Flashbacks why of does, ungodly why things. Does Lizzie need a dress? She's, she's the, bride, the maid of right? honor. She's the maid of honor? Yeah. yeah. Do we have a dress for the bride? She's, but she's no maid. She should be coming in with her own dress. Is Lizzie. She's not. She's human. Right? Yeah. Lizzie's a okay. human. For some reason I was thinking elf. She's a ranger. She's a person. Yeah. She's a person. Unlike God, the pixies. Up all in this shit. So, what do you guys do? All right, um, I'm going to try to discreetly ask questions of uh, Boris about how she's arriving, like she tra how, how's the fiance traveling, what's her name, et cetera, et cetera. You're asking um, about this about the, the bride? About the coming? fiance. Okay. Yes. I want to know details, man. Uh, you're asking Boris? Yes. This is find out. Well, I don't know her name. Or what she looks like. But she's supposed to be a human from Akuba. I did, did she, did she, okay, dude, dude, dude. Does she, does she know she's marrying an orc? I put it in the paper. Or, no, you try, De Desmond, Des you, you told her I was an orc, right? Desmond's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I wrote that in there. No, Borscht. Pretty, um, how, how sure is pretty sure? Oh, I don't know. We were drinking. Like 75% sure. 85 is a good percent. Much better percent. Uh, so, Borscht, 50, 50, are, are you familiar maybe. with uh, fishing? In particular, are you familiar with, with catfish? Mm, no. <laughs> but I didn't think you guys like to eat cats. Yeah, so just have a little bit of a concern here. Catfishing, yes. Uh, well, so how how was your how was your bride to be traveling, uh, getting here from Akuba? Et cetera, et cetera. I mean, that's not, that could be a dangerous journey. The agency takes care of those details for us. You know, I guess, I guess it could be a dangerous journey, but they've assured me a bride. So, you know. I can hear some tapping. I uh, That's coffee. I thought it was coffee brewing. <laughs> so Morton's gone up by himself to go measure Lizzie. Is, is, that, is, that what I, like, is the rest of the party still in shenanigans? I guess. Is, is anyone going with Morton? I'll go with Morton. Bob will go. I don't know. I don't think. I think. Bar, I think Morton will Bob's tell there. Bob to stay. And hang. It's, it's, it's shenanigans where this whole thing started. Is that where the is that where the conversation with Borscht just happened? Yes. Okay. Yes. I think I think Morton went off went off alone and comes back. Yes, for the okay. same. I don't, I don't think having the new having the uh, <laughs> the pirate come along to the pirate to measure Desmond's wife's uh, made of honor dress. Oh, right now you're. He's not wearing a, a vest anymore. Wearing a pirate. Sch <laughs> <is> schizophrenic <laughs> or personalities or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. No, okay. 
Um, so, well, before we do so, measuring Lizzie, let's finish up with Rob and and Borsch. What do you? I think these are happening simultaneously. I think okay, I, I was yeah. trying to figure out whether I was there for this scene, and I don't think I. No, am. yeah. So I think Got you it. and and Bob, it is now, I mean, are off measuring. Bob really ca- I'm, Bob can't come. Ca- Bob cannot watch. Why can't Bob watch? <laughs> <laughs> You're just measuring. Yeah, it's just measurements. It's over the I try, to, I try to lose him in the streets of Desu and go to do the measurements alone. Like, yeah. Um, I don't. But we can resolve that later. I guess. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll look at that in a moment. Uh, so meanwhile, they back in, in shenanigans, Dave and literally Corey. across the street. Their house is across the street. No, it's no, in like a glade. No, it's it's like, down the road. It's in the woods. Yeah. Oh, I it's thought it was literally woods. across. It's the street. got like a nice, it's you know. A, yeah. 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 It seemed like everything was literally across the street. From the yeah. um, so, Dave and Curry, you're still speaking to Borsch. Borsch says he doesn't know where she's coming from or how she's getting here, but that he's assured that he will properly have his his bride. So what do you know about your bride? Mm, paid 100 gold, and Desmond wrote the letter, and uh, he read the, the reply to me. I see. And what did the re- the reply from this this uh, ephemeral goddess say? You have that letter. The the Okubian agency. Um, somewhere around here, he fishes around and produces a folded piece of parchment. She didn't keep sending you letters that in no way referenced letters that you sent. No, no, this is the only reply we got. Said that she'll be here uh, five days from now, I guess, and. And she'll be ready, coming all, all set up for the ceremony. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, Why? Wow, you, you look at, you know, they got some mail order husbands, too, if you're interested. Those are Cubans. They'll marry just about anyone. Life's real shitty over there. No, I, I they, I, I've already got plenty of, uh... You don't look like the marriage, marriage sort. No offense. No, I've just gotten already gotten plenty of orders from a Cubans wanting looking for a husband. Um, yeah, yes, mail order bribes. Very interested husbands. about the whole way this went about, and you sent the money, and they're just supposed to send the bride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you and you're fine with this person that you've only had one letter from. Oh, I haven't even heard from her. I only heard from the agency. You didn't even get a letter from her. Mm-mm. Look, Curry. <laughs> How do you know you're even going to get on, though, man? I mean, you know, don't you want to marry somebody like you, you have something in common with? Or, you know, so someone you connect with on a deep spiritual level? Or, Dave. You know? Dave, buddy. Yo, he, he takes you by the shoulders and puts your back to the bar and gazes across the floor of shenanigans. Dave, how many orcs do you see in this room? How many female orcs do you see around here? Uh, zero. Yeah. You see yeah. zero. Yeah. He turns and you know, faces you shoulder to shoulder. I guess it's a little bit lower because he's a tall orc. Um, okay. You know, there's not a lot of opportunities for love here for orcs. We, we don't really get that many, that many options. And it's very difficult to meet a person and have them see me for who I am. So I'm going to take the only method that I can to find true happiness in life. And that's to just arrange marriage it all the way through from someone from a different land and I'm sure we'll learn to love each other. You know? Borscht. It's about the relationship yeah. you build, not about the connection you start with. Love is a journey, you see, Dave. And it begins when you accept the other person into your life wholeheartedly for all of their problems and all of their flaws. And only once you've really, really accepted a person can you really build a true and meaningful relationship with it. Passion is one thing. It does not hold a candle to true love. Wow, Borsh. Dude, you're a fucking poet. (laughs) Hold on, I gotta go get the rats out of the kitchen. Glib Glob's in there again. I I need to write some shit down. Hang on a minute. This is good shit, man. This is good shit. You know, I think we need to write a a song uh, we'll just call Around the Blackberry Bush. (laughs) I think that would be an amazing song. Mm, Tell me with the lyrics of that one, man. Uh, just something with pixies and around the blackberry bush and you can kind of stand back away from the mic 
and let people sort of imagine some of the things they think you're hearing. They're hearing, you just kind of throw some mumbles. Just mumble it. Oh, yeah, dude, All dude, dude. around yeah. the blackberry bush, the curry chased the pixie. Something, 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 something pop. Nope. All right. All the other uh, scene, we've got well, Bob. Hey, hang on. I'm, oh, I'm, oh, oh. Oh, so, sorry. Of course, you didn't. You didn't say that you you felt that you couldn't make a love connection here. I, I had a moment never... a few weeks back that made me realize that it would never really happen. Why? Why do you feel that it would never really happen? What happened to make you feel this way? He looks off and goes, "There was a really weird week." Everyone was falling in love with each other, and I just came out of it realizing that what I found temporarily, I could never find for real. Yes, I'm thinking we need to keep not what you found on Earth, on the Izzy. And that's why I have a mail order bride coming! Look at that! Anyways, Boris. Um, yeah, I get you, yeah, I get you, man. Like, yeah. we, you see, we Dave gets it. You're a good man, Dave. You know, do you want to be my backup best man? Yo, isn't the best man supposed to marry the bride? If, like, the, 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 the groom... No, 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 no. The best man is supposed to defend the the the, the, the husband from... The, the groom from people who would try and steal the bride away. Okay, yo, I'm um, totally, yep. Yeah, cool. Totally back. Good. Oh. Good. Mm. So, so back oh. up, best man. Uh, wait, you thought the best man was supposed to marry the bride in case the groom dropped out? Maybe? Or was it just the bridesmaid who's supposed to marry the groom? <laughs> it's not like an alternate at a duel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I've never gotten married. You I, you look like a man who's never been married, Dave. Dude, I've never even had a girlfriend. It's like... Really? Aren't you a musician? Uh, Aren't you like a tortured soul? Yeah, right. Oh, maybe that's your torture. Boris, 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 I never knew you felt you were having trouble finding someone there. All this time, we had the opportunity for a full-on makeover while playing Girls Just Want to Have Fun, and you didn't tell us. <laughs> or Pretty Woman, either one. Well, look, it's too late for that now. If wishes were well, horses, we'd I all be eating you, steak. So I think you need to we just got to move forward. <laughs> this is our cook. This is the cook. Yeah. <laughs> all right, out to the street. Okay. I got uh, lose. Bob and Friar Bob's Morton Bixby, right. the two but Ryans. I got movement rate nine. I don't know how this plays out. I, Morton, I, I mean, you're I, you're really conspicuous. You can't lose him. <laughs> I'm like, there's no chance. You, you're you encumbered. At some point, there's like a... And you're sun. really obvious. <laughs> son. <laughs> I warned you, son. And we go to... On like, the way the, there, I want to bring up... We don't go to Lizzie's first. We go to the sketchy part of town first. Okay, hold so on. Who, who is this Lizzie? Lizzie is Desmond's wife. No, no, uh, I'm asking... Uh, oh, Bob okay. is asking, who is this Lizzie? To Morton. Uh... Desmond's wife. Oh, we've got it. We've got an errand to run first. I and I start leading. I mean, I guess he's never been to Lizzie's house, so he wouldn't know either way. Yeah. I tell him we're running an errand, and I think we go. To, I don't know where where one would purchase what it is that I need to need to place an order for. Uh, what do you? But need I don't to place think it's a savory for? part of town. What do you need to place an order for? Yeah, I thought you were getting like silk or something. No, no. What What are you buying, I, Morton? I, I need to buy the the uh, the meat for the for the wedding. Oh, like, you don't have to get that from a sketchy place. You can just you know stop off and there's no kettle master in town, but you can just kind of stop off at any given place and be like, oh hey, you've got a dog. Can I buy it? You know, people have litters of dogs all the time. Won't be trained. Okay. There's also yeah, but, okay. dogs just you're wandering. Off. You're basically Cruella de Vil at this point, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, and there's a bunch but, of dogs off leashes just hanging out in the streets. So, so you could. The just problem is up. I don't have any money. Is there? There's not like a. Is there a way to put this on like the wedding account? <laughs> um, no, but is you have another thing? PC with you. There's no. There's no way the schizophrenic level one character here has enough gold spare cash to. Are you hey, just hoping? Hey there, Bob, do you have enough cash to buy a couple dogs? 
Uh, no, I have uh, I have resources. I don't yeah, know what we need to ask for, but uh, yeah, I, I, I can I can figure out how to get some dogs. Have I not been able to sell any of my good berries, Neil? Not enough to go buy dogs. Then I guess we don't run an errand. I was gonna put it in order so that it arrives with the wedding, but I guess I need to get some loot first. So what do the two of you do? What do the two Ryans do? Borsh is going to be so disappointed. Wait, after, what, after, what do you need the dogs for? I, I can probably find some uh, strays. It's an Akuban delicacy. She'll Akuban be expecting delicacy. it. Did you say strays? I could purify the meat. I mean, they wouldn't they wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Could even heal the creature and get it healthy for a few days first. Yeah, good, like, good berries. Oh, we could get it so fat in the in the course of a couple days. Like, All right, stray it is. Her dog in, but with good berries. So we do go to the sketchy dog. part of down, and we chase down stray dogs, and then we get rabies, and we all die. I've only got one slow poison memorized, and I'm not. All right, so you, the two of something. you, walking through the sketchy kind of poor <laughs> part of town, There's plenty of dogs off their leashes, you know, lounging in the dirt, just bathing <laughs> in the sun. I don't have a animal friendship or anything along those lines. Uh, any of you guys have any idea on how to acquire a stray dog? He's got that rope, right? You just yeah. tie him up like the pixies. Well, you have my rope. I think I gave it back. Okay. But I forgot to say okay. I gave it back. Um, are there any, like, what is the surrounding area? Is it just kind of, like, dirt, or is there any, like, shrubs, or... Uh, dirt on the ground, uh, fences, kind of guarding all the properties. Some of the fences are a little bit tattered. It looks like people have come along with uh, cans of paint and written things on them. Yeah. Uh, I think Morton's just super business-like about it. He utters a quick prayer to Martha, turning his simple oaken cudgel into a shillelagh. Mm -hmm. And I just whack the stray dog on the head. Did you just walk up to a dog and club it? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't see any baby seals, so the dog is going to do. Uh, do I catch the dog by surprise? Yes, you catch the dog by surprise. <laughs> Dunk. Uh, oh, God. Uh, what kind of dog is it, Neil? So it's surprise plus two. Can you describe this dog in detail. <laughs> yes, back let's... attack or just supply, surprise. Nick uh, with brown eyes, happy smiling, panting face. You know, trusting, trusting gaze. I mean, the dog's asleep. You, you, you can auto oh, hit it. Okay, so thirteen oh. plus that's my base plus any surprise back. I think it's. Are there more stray dogs in this alley? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Um, okay, uh, I, told, I, I club I'm all gonna this. walk up to another stray dog. Uh huh. And like like he's gonna be petting it, I'm gonna pull out some ferret jerky and kinda entice the dog. Mm -hmm. And then as it comes to me, I'm going while it's eating the jerky, I'm gonna tie a rope around it. It's neck. Okay, you have a dog on the leash. leash. And yeah. Morton, how much damage did you do with your club? Yeah, two D four. Let me give that a roll. Four points of damage. So oh, damage. you club it in the head and it wakes up. Roll for initiative. Oh no! Do I have to fight a fight a street dog? You uh, and the both of you have to fight a street dog now. Uh, five. All right, um, Ryan, give me a D10 plus your weapon speed yeah, or five. action. Yeah. Five total. Other oh, yeah. other Ryan. Yeah, D10. Plus... We don't get epic fight music. What, to, what, to what is rope? Oh, it's here. What is it's rope a... speed? Uh, three. Okay. All right. And the dog goes. At... The dog goes first. It beats a. It beats roll the you. One. It beats. In before you get merged by a stray dog, you try yeah, to it, it roll the one. It rolled the one, and it had a total of four. Yeah. yeah. The dog leaps at Morton. Morton, what's your AC? Uh, I think fourteen. Yeah, it 14. bites you. Oh God, how much damage does the dog do? I might need that poison resistance. Oh, what's your chance quick of contracting rabies? What's my chance? <laughs> dog, wild dog. D4 damage, okay. It's not a lot. Oh. You take one point of damage. <laughs> Nothing a good barrier. As the that. dog one barks and rips at you. Um, uh, Morton. Dog fights. Oh, only a 10. I think it's got better than 10 AC, huh? It does. You... Whoosh, Swing and a miss. Kalur. No, Bob. Yeah. 
So I have rope use. I'm going to try and still the other end of this 50 feet of rope. You can make like a lasso with. Yeah, I've been, I'm gonna try to lasso the dog. All right, <laughs> give me a called shot against the dog. Also, do you change? Do you shift here? Uh, I let's see. I think it's probably shifting time. Okay. So okay. It, as I guess, uh, would the new action. character last? Yeah. Does the new character have rope use? Yes, uh, okay. kind of, but not really. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, so I basically realize I'm in combat. I'm gonna walk up to the dog and shocking grasp the dog. And you are okay. That'll do it. Isn't he already lassoed though? He didn't no, lasso. I didn't lasso because yeah. instead of in lasso. that case, it, it's some sort of humane execution. Where, you know, like the, they have the like the, the bolt. They, they stun the cattle in the uh -huh. slaughterhouse, and then you know, captive bolt gun them. That's basically the same thing, right? Well, give me an attack roll to grab them. Uh, let's see. The flat d twenty. You need a. Uh... Nope. You make a grab for the dog, and it leaps, or you know, it ducks and okay. dodges out of the way as it growls, and you see. Down no, hold the on street. a sec. He gets back. He should get back attack because I'm clearly going face to face with a. Well, the dog was like lying in the sun next to a fence. So and when you got up and but started, you know, it's you could have just gotten he food could, could and got the dogs to follow you anywhere. But for some reason, no, how do we get to like find the worst, run? most difficult way to do this? Like at the very least, he's flanking. So, it. These guys just aren't cunning, are they? Even if he's flanking it, it's still a miss. Even with back attack, a ten is still a miss. The dog doesn't have dexterity. Does the it, dog has AC seven from, from its dexterity? Okay, it doesn't say, but AC seven. Um, yeah. All right, so you miss. The dog growls, and you see down the street. Is that whiff? No, it has a short duration, so you could. It, it's on like attack or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so it's like, but his hand is charged up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's charged up. It's just. I guess we're rolling initiative again. The duration is until discharged, uh, for one round per level of the caster, or until discharged by the caster. So if you don't hit it this next round, shocking grasp is wasted, lost. Go grab uh, another one. I think I can get this one here. All right, so three more dogs start coming down the alleyway, barking and yelling and howling. They're at you all. Perfect. They're all coming to us. Um, roll me initiative, you guys. Uh, nine. All right, Morton player. gets murdered by street dogs. Be a sad, sad day. Shocking. He's a wizard? What is, is He's got to be like multi-class, then he's like shifting <laughs> every hour or something. Uh, Bob, give us a initiative roll. Um, you're just going to make a melee attack with your shocking grasp, so a three. Actually, I'm um, casting a spell. Then re-roll your initiative real quick, like? Yeah, do you want me to re-roll or just yep. like re-roll it? Speed. Casting time is five. Oh, this is going to be bad, huh? D10. Probably get interrupted. 12. Yeah, that's no good. Okay. The pack of dogs goes first. Uh, well, one of the dogs goes first. The one that you're fighting right now. It leaps at Morton again, sinking its teeth into you once more. AC 14. Yep. Dealing four damage with its fangs. Spell fizzles. Bastard. I was um, trying to cast an aid. To Bob, to your aid. turn. Uh, you are muted, Bob. Okay. There Am I still muted? Okay. No. Dog got your tongue? There we go. <laughs> oh, wait, that's in. Yeah, well, give me a roll to hit. <laughs> oh, no, you reach for the dog and it is nowhere to be found. The shocking grasp dissolves or fizzles and disappears. The three other dogs reach you guys. Uh, one of them bites. You're not Bob anymore, we're right? Gonna, You're Killer now? I am a Killer now. Right now. All right. Uh, one of the dogs bites you. What's your armor class? Is it just 10? Uh, well, I have my shield. But so 11. So plus the fighting style. Okay, so um, 13. Uh, my AC is Dex. 13, yes. All right. Uh, one of these dogs crits you. Ooh. You take uh, six I, points of damage as the dog sinks and is off the dog. <laughs> You're unconscious? Give me yes. saving throw versus death. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> Let's see. Uh, death is oh, 10. God. 10 or higher on a d20? All right, yes. you're good. You're good. I'm not dead. 
in my first encounter. Yes. I need to scare yes. off these. I'm surprised the dogs are like coming at us like a pack. These yeah. starved street dogs. A pack of four street dogs. They are interrupt. circling around you, you more. Straight up interrupt yeah, spells on um, damage in the. In, I have one that's chained up by the rope. Okay. And then we're fighting for it. Uh, yeah, so but how would you, like, be knocked unconscious? Yeah, no, I'm in touch. So my rope. spell fizzles, Neil, and I lose it from my memory. Yeah, I guess that's true. There's a dog yeah. with a rope. I guess I... 50 feet of rope. No, I think I try to scare them off first. How bad? What what negative HP is he at? That's something I'm not privy to. Uh, let's just say I am halfway towards death and being conscious. <laughs> Next round, I'm rolling a seven on my initiative. Um, you tie with two of them. God, these dogs are fast. Yeah. I'm, like, making a lot of noise. I'm huge, right? and I don't know if I they recognize that I'm magic, but I'm trying to scare them off. If it weren't out. Yeah, I'm, like, well, how, are, how are you trying to scare ah, them off? Get the, I'm a, by smacking them with a club. Okay. You hit so one. I, Whap. Finally, kill off that one that I woke up. Oh, uh, I don't. Yeah, yeah. You crush. You knock its head. And like in. I and I like I shake my stick at the other. I mean, make their attacks mm. against me. Yeah. Um. That will. That one's. Uh, I don't expect that. Uh. Dog, one of them bites dogs, you. Morale and loyalty. One of them is going at the same turn as you. Bites you for four. God. Um. The other two get a morale check. Out of Sixteen. Take a morale check. Did they realize that I'm a spell guy? I've got a magic stick that I'm throwing. I don't think they know it's a magic stick. I think they just see you waving a stick at them. Yeah, yeah. it actually seems yeah. like a bad idea. Okay, well, one of them's like, waving, just, Maybe you should throw the stick. Actually, you know what? To the other two remaining ones I each think... make called shots at the stick to try and bite it out of your hand. <laughs> uh, and one of them grabs it. One of them misses. The other grabs the stick in its teeth. Give me an opposed strength check. Do I get a, do oh one shit! Because it's a magic stick. Does it nail its strength check? It rolled a nineteen. Plus, I don't know what its dog strength is, but I'll oh, say it's natural nice. twenty. Oh shit! <laughs> okay. okay, the dog it sinks its teeth bad. into your stick. It loses and its magic properties when you guys it, are. I, I wrench it out of its hand. Yeah, you wrench the stick back out of the dog's mouth. Yeah. Um, and roll initiative. Bad, bad dog. They don't run. They not this time. They haven't. Um, God, so there's three of them? Oh shit, they all rolled ones on initiative. Amazing. You're just gonna kill Morton in the streets to a pack of wild dogs. You you are trying to kill them and eat them, right? <laughs> you, realize, <laughs> you realize you could have just brought food and lured them anywhere you wanted them to go. That's what that's what Color was doing. Whatsoever. <laughs> that, well, that's what was happening. I didn't expect them to rise up like a pack, so I guess I have Give me initiative roll? Give me that initiative roll. Pack descends. Uh, I'm looking at, yeah, weapon speed, nine. Um, I guess at this point, I'm like, are we, so we're just on a totally abandoned street or alley? Or yeah, I mean, there's some people, happen? there are a few people standing by watching. <laughs> it's not the first time someone has gone around, you know, clubbing mm -hmm. dogs and being chased by them. Um, so the three dogs go first. One of them goes for the stick again. Uh, called shot. Called shot against the stick. I think that's still a hit. Um, grabs it in his teeth. Give me an opposed strength check. Ooh, dog does not do well. Dog fails actually, so I don't think it matters what you roll. Um, yeah. I do fail as well, but I don't think I have to pass. I think I no. Just he to has to pass. Yeah. He has to beat yeah. you. Um, so he can't rip it out. The other dog takes a bite for you, misses completely, and the third dog goes for the stick and gets a nice big chomp on it as well. I don't get One more strength check. They're mo they, can just, they can just make attacks at my weapons without attacks of opportunity. That's what monsters do. Yeah. And they're dogs, right? You're waving Oof. a stick at yes. a dog. Oof. Oof. Strength <laughs> check, Ryan. For the other dog who bites the stick. Oh, you Never just barely beat him by one, you bastard. All right. Uh, and your turn. I don't feel heroic at all. <laughs> I just, <laughs> just need some, uh, some buffet meat. Right, you don't can... feel heroic ambushing street dogs? I wonder why that is. <laughs> what is... God, he's like bleeding out in the street. And yep. I... <laughs> All right. I guess uh, I roll the initiative to... one more time. <laughs> Bob, I hope you marked a... Or Killer, I hope you marked a point off of HP off for that round. Yep. All right. The dogs, I mean, the dogs are not... I mean, I guess they're... I've got to kill another to get them... Does to it go to negative HP or negative con? Uh, negative 10. Negative okay. Okay. That's not as bad as I was 
hearing then. Yeah. <laughs> Priest um, light can't be used to blind, right? I've got, why I've not? I've got his healing. Yeah, priest light can so. be blind. I think the light... I, that's even stupid now. They're like, casting on the visual organs of the creature. I think that's only the wizard spell, but I don't think I will. <coughs> initiative. If I heal, what is the initiative of heal? Initiative. And there's three initiative. of them? We're doing we're doing initiative. initiative. Killer wounds, five. Initiative. Can't do anything. I think I'm asked. I think I'm. Cry I'm probably crying for help. <laughs> <laughs> this is. This is so I don't have anything to do but hit him with a stick. Martha, help or, me! Um, yeah. I don't even have time. Like, if I cast a spell, they're just gonna interrupt it. Martha. Seven initiative. You go first. I need like a crit to knock out a dog, and I'm. You yeah. miss. Um. They fail the morale check and disperse. I'm as, taking my fucking as you, opportunity. All you right, one, give right? me. Or is it one per level? I think it's one. Back yeah. attack included? Yeah. You crit the dog. You Can double you crit the dog. Uh, give me three times damage dice. Yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. yeah. Then you, you wreck the that. dog. And I immediately go to heal. I think it's been three rounds. Yeah. And I throw. It doesn't matter what I roll if I catch him in time, right? Right. Yeah. Actually, can I just feed him a good berry even? Or catch uh, him you can't him feed him. him a, you can't force him to swallow. So. What about an Orison? Yeah, that'll or do. A, or cure light wounds. Is he still considered active? Like, can I use a healing check to get the free D three from that? Um, it has to be within That's one round of taking damage. damage. But he bled last round. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking damage every round. Right, you said it has to be the cure light, and it just starts. Uh, no, an Orison will work. Okay, so yeah. I use one Orison to stabilize him at yeah. zero, or stabilize him at negative. Stabilize whatever. him at one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then I guess I'll heal him. Right, I'm healing everybody. Yeah. Uh, there's two dogs bleeding out on the ground. Oh yeah, I Orison them to stabilize them as well. Okay. So it's more Orisons. God. Um, that was dicier than I was hoping. <laughs> <laughs> so, is the dog that had the rope around its neck? Did that dog run off, or is the no? We, that one, I clubbed that one to death. And yeah, then I clubbed another. No, no, that was the broke dog. Was the first dog that you no, that was the one he critted. Oh, okay. Right, For um, the sake of simplicity. How much? Ma how many HP? I'll throw a cure light at you and a cure. Uh, don't waste a cure light on me. <laughs> okay, how many HP are you down? I can, I can just throw ores. Yeah, Actually, eat some I, good here. Have some uh, good no, here. he's been he was at negative, so you can't heal him with healing spells until he's had twenty four hours of rest since he was oh, really? brought up to one. Yeah. Okay. Then I will use a cure light and some orisons on myself. Uh, three with the cure light. <laughs> and, Rob, that is an inaccurate assessment of the situation. <laughs> 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 All right. The two of you have managed to round up right, two dogs. <laughs> they are very, very weak and yeah, give half-hearted barks of resistance. Um, what do you do with the two dogs that you have? I captured? go and tie them up in the woods and like leave them a tray of leave them my last three. Wait, if we leave them here, what if something else comes and takes them? Okay, I'll bring them. <laughs> I drop. I deposit them somewhere for now. They're stable and wait. Where is somewhere? You can't just like. I know. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Why don't we use the abandoned temple, okay. maybe? Oh my god. Is that where god. we have the spider, the spider farm? Or maybe just have behind shenanigans and give them to Borsh. Yeah, I think with all sketchy, all surreptitious, like we drop them back by shenanigans. You just like tie them up in the backyard up to the it's tree behind it's, shenanigans. There's like an alley where, where Krubar hunts the rats. Yeah. There will just be some dogs getting fat for a week and then mysteriously disappearing. <laughs> okay. We're gonna switch back to the other side of the party yeah. for a moment. I think the, as as we're closing that scene, the party uh, that's the, the side of the party that's not murdering. Turn to Tom. Ryan number two. I don't know. Is, is he bought? He's Dar right now. Keller. The Keller. I don't even. Keller. I haven't even met Keller. I turn to Ryan number two and I say, "I told you you should wait at shenanigans. Some things can't be unseen." God. All right, Dave and Corey. Dude, I sense a great disturbance in the force, but I don't know why. Uh, anyway, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. What are you... Do you hear, do you hear barking, dude? There's no, no barking. I know. I know I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Only snoring. 
<laughs> there is no barking in no. Zoom. No, um, <clears throat> dude. Okay, so like, where were we? I, I, I was like distracted by the visceral. Yeah. Horror. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Dave, I've got a plan for the bachelor party. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah. Of course, but um, I would kind of involve the cooperation of the bride and that might not work out so well yeah right huh? since we don't have a bride until the very moment that she arrives and let's face it she could be like fucking nuts man we could be could have nuts for all we know um yeah, yeah catfish be, you know she she's she's a you know she she's a, 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 a an unknown quantity of bride um so yeah, man. I, 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 can't we just like take another trip, go buy him some drinks, you know, get him a lap dance from somebody? He asked me to do the bachelor party. There's certain standards that have to be maintained. Okay, but why are you involving the bride, the bachelor party, dude? I thought the bride had nothing to do with the bachelor party. Um, just keep it simple, man. Might... Just keep it simple. Oh. I know. They I know, don't you know. make movie trilogies about simple bachelor parties. Uh, a what now? Anyway, uh, so my my plan involves maybe we it, we can intercept the bride before she arrives. She's coming from Cuba, from the north. Yeah. And get her to go along with us. Okay, so what? Two random dudes just turn up and go, "Hey, bachelor party, come with us," and she's just going to go with us. She's just going along with being a mail order bride, apparently. I she feel like this could go really bad. Yo, I, I just feel like this could go really badly wrong. Fuck it, I'm in. Yes. Yep, okay, I'm in, whatever. I mean, it'd be good. Also, let's face it, if she's like super ugly or whatever, we can like maybe give, uh, you know. Well, the, there was going to be some lingerie shopping for her involved for this whole thing. So, what it's a shopping? complicated bachelor party. Longer what? Part of the plan was going to be lingerie for her. Oh, right, like underwear and, and the, all the, yes. the lace. Right, okay, got you, man, got you. Hmm. So maybe we can intercept. Oh, that's getting kind of dicey, but maybe we yeah. can get this off. Does she have like guards and shit? I mean, if she's like, you know. I don't know. I don't get the feeling that whatever agency is involved is super big on protecting yeah. people. Yeah, they don't, they don't sound like that professional, man. Well, it's worth a try, right, man? I mean, Why do we need the bride for the bachelor party? I may ask out of it's here. part of the plan. It's sort of a scavenger that. hunt bachelor party. <laughs> All right. Okay. What did they do? What did they? What did the? What? Did, what was Kuru doing in Shankins while we were doing the dog fight? I feel like the. I was talking to Boris, trying to find out more about the bride, how she was arriving, okay. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Okay. So, what are you guys doing now? After the uh, pause, are them or, or them? Us? Actually, what I want to do, trying to think time so Boris, it sounds like you're feeling unlovable, like you, you don't think that you can get someone to, to love the real you because you're afraid of how you look on the outside. So well, let me just tell you, as a priest of Newton, we're all about getting that outside to mask the inside. So shopping spree makeover. Well, wait, wait, I, there's already a woman on her way here. It's too don't late. Don't you want to look good for her? Well, yeah. Well, I mean, I was gonna try and just be honest and and be myself and wear yeah, what I thought would, like be, a, would yo, be yo, appropriate. Yo, you could be like a scrubbed up, like the best version of you that you could possibly yes. be. I, I was I was gonna get my armor and and polish it up real bright and put it on and carry a battle axe and a frying pan to okay, show the duality yo, yo, of my nature as a, a caretaker and provider and as a warrior. All right, all right, okay, dude, dude, dude. Not sure about the armor. Might be a bit intimidating. We don't want to scare her off, like. You want to, you want to like softly, softly, yeah, man. Yes. Uh, I, I don't want to be dishonest. I, I thought the best policy was honesty, yeah, and you should yeah. just yeah, yeah, it's honesty. And then there's turning up with a battle axe to a wedding. 
Desmond got to wear his sword to his wedding. Yeah, he knew his bride, man. He knew his bride first. What do you know? You've never even dated a girl before. You shut up, man. I, I've I've touched girls before. While they were sleeping, maybe. Dude, what? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean that. My mom. It's fine. Shut up, dude. I of course, wouldn't for your wedding. Don't you feel like you should be looking the best you possibly could be? I yeah. The best possible boards. You have to remember, it is better to look good than to feel good. And we what? That's not are true. Make you look mom. Wait, that's really shallow. You've met Korea. Yes. Are we surprised? I, I guess not. I don't. Besides, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. We're, what do you want right. to do for him? Well, we're gonna. Um, so we've got Dave Growl. So with us, so Dave, you think pretty woman or girls just want to have fun? I feel like those are the choices. Oh, girl, girls just orcs, want to have fun. just want to have fun. Orcs just want to have fun, yeah, orcs just want to have, that's all I really want, something. Some orcs, some, when some the girls take a beautiful orc. Orcs, they want to have fun, anyway, yeah. Yes. Uh, so we're going to take, so we're going to take uh, Borscht out shopping, we're going to get his hair done. I'm thinking probably like slicked back but with with like braids with all kinds of like cool colored beads and things in them does borsh wear clothes he's usually <laughs> naked from the waist up right in the kitchen usually <laughs> so i think we gotta oil that up <laughs> oh yeah does he have chest hair? i know just the person to do that delanora um <laughs> sometimes <laughs> often it just kind of falls into the the stew um, anyway, you're bringing Dell into this game? Well, for the oiling. Okay, so Dell oils up. All right, and what else are you doing in addition to the oil here? So I was thinking, you know, I, I'd originally been thinking some sort of tuxedo kind of thing, but, but he is an orc. We, we do want to show his inner essence. Maybe some oiled leather strappy harnessy kind of thing. Something that really shows the uh, the the bulging biceps. And yes. Shows yes. off the chest muscles and the beard. You know. Oh, have it, have it. Sorry. Projecting. Yes. <laughs> so let's. Uh, Has he got like the old tusk sort of thing? Is he? You know? Oh yes, let's polish those up. Yeah. I think Borsh is missing one tusk. One of them is broken off, and the other is still there. So we can we can Ooh, just get the one really bright and shining, and you know, sort of like you know. Yeah, so let's let's take him. Um, let's see, we want leather straps. So let's say we go to like somebody who makes saddles and bridles, because that might be the best place for this. And we'll have him try on several outfits. He'll come out with different straps. Uh, Dave and I will stand there and like shake our heads in unison until, as they get more and more ridiculous, until horse comes out the perfect one. At which point we both nod. Okay. Um. Give us the other little fist bump. Give me. Why don't the two of you guys give me charisma checks, each of you, to determine how good of a outfit he ends up having. Having. I am on this like. Go for it. You're the bard. Whoever gets the. Uh, fifteen. So that's one d twenty plus fifteen. Ooh! <laughs> they went with burlap. <laughs> nice. Everyone loves burlap. It's all the rage this season. <laughs> What, what, what are we both supposed to do, um, charisma checks? Please, please, please override me in this. Can I, well, can that's I, a great can idea. I jump in on that? I think we gave it to him, and it's going to stick with him. God Burlap damn. is all the rage this season. And, and he would have looked oh, so good. <laughs> Ooh, don't want to that. You're going to look back at the pictures and regret it, but it was probably a very fashionable choice at the time. <laughs> Look at, that over the top. Crit, man. Look at that crit! Critical oh. fail, critical yeah. success. Oh, oh man, no. Where is. Is it just like a really bad suit? Come on, can we not say with the crit that he, he gets at least, like, you know, 
a little bit of maybe a, maybe not. I'm maybe not gonna say. let Borscht look bad. I'm so gonna, bad I'm gonna overrule. I think Borscht gets final say, and when and, he really and when likes- Dave goes, dude, that's the one. Borscht <laughs> looks in the mirror and is like, I think you're right, Dave. I'm really glad you convinced me to do this with you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the straps so and the studded spikes. And- no, no, no. I really feel the burlap. You know, it's got that like rough itchiness. My back is always so itchy with whatever <laughs> I'm doing, and and whenever I move, I just get my back scratched right away. It's fantastic. But I guess I won't need that for long. Pretty soon, I'll have a wife to do that for me. Ew. All those fleas. Getting a wife to scratch your back. Well, I mean, come on. That's just one of the perks, right? You scratch I mean, her back, she scratch yours. Yeah. Right, right. So yeah. you know, it's a, it's a, you know, mutually beneficial arrangement, right? Yeah. See, Dave gets it, Corey. Yeah. The same thing can be accomplished. Damn. Yeah. Damn, I kind of want to get married now. Yeah. See, it's not that bad, and you know, the sticks aren't that great. They, they don't know how to reach all those hard to get spots. Yeah, they can't. They can't. You know, it's it's you know the. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's hard to reach spots. I see. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that part, I guess. Maybe we should have gone with Pretty Woman. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about that. <clears throat> I had a thing for a thing, but I can't find the thing now. Can I? Can I try to accessorize the outfit a bit? <laughs> sure. What are you going to accessorize it with? Uh, but there's still a lot of things to do, so let's not get too distracted with this. Let's keep going, but... Okay, but what, I, I, I just I just want to try to do something to alleviate the burlap. <laughs> alleviate let, the burlap? Let me talk about it, the burlap, then, you know, get him some... Uh, just accessorize it in a way that makes Morton the burlap so seem silk. ironic. You recall Morton so silk onto the inside of his burlap robes. That defeats the purpose of them. They're so scratchy. It's wonderful. Yes, uh, I'll try to you try to accessor- soak on the outside. So, so the so the plan is to accessorize in a way that makes it look like he's wearing the burlap. Ironically, <laughs> 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 kind of a hipster work. Okay. Where the hell is that? Th- I had a thing, man. I had a thing. <sighs> yes, a, a cape is an excellent suggestion, actually. Oh, God. I had a thing. All right, we'll skip that plot. All right, so you have a best plot, too. I was. You accessorize him with some other things, make it look like he's wearing it ironically. Give me a charisma check to see if you... How it goes, Rob? All right. Can't, can't, can't nope. Hold on. Nope. Roll me a one, baby. Roll me a one. Two ones. Two ones. All right. It goes <laughs> fairly well. Let's flip back to Bixby and Kalur as they go it's to get Lizzie's measurements. They're not dead yet. They're in fact, but I'm probably I'm a provision to accidentally clone them. Yeah. Making sure they're nice and healthy. That none of that I didn't like. Except for the one you whack them at the club. The yeah, that I didn't dead. whack them in any important parts. I just put brain damage. Did you beat one over the head? Brain damage is fine. Brain damage is perfectly Double fine. I, by You're its body, you know. You're a monster. Lethal body damage that I'd be concerned with. And then I'll give them healing. You're a monster, Zor. But... Right, right. You'll take care of them. Make sure that they're good for harvesting later. Now they're, they're tied up, dropped off. And I think now that... Uh... Is Kalur like what happens when you come back to like? Is he moving slower than usual? Uh, yeah, he you need to help him along. Okay, I think I deposit him back at shenanigans. And You're gonna leave him, him behind? Yeah, I think I, I think Kalur needs to. I'm not bringing the schizophrenic to <laughs> me, in to, to measure Desmond's wife. You don't want to bring the clearly insane person along? <laughs> no, I think like this. I think I like run off. Like I. Depo- Make like we're gonna go hang out in shenanigans. I tell him he can do the honors of um, telling Borsch that Papa Bigsby left him a present in the alley. Nice. All right. Well, let's do. And then I proceed to go running down the street. Okay. You head running down the street. You make it to Desmond's and Lizzie's house. Mm-hmm. Um, the front door is open. That's unusual, right? Maybe you've never been. You've only been here the once. 
Okay. I walk on in, knocking as loudly as I enter. Um, I have flashbacks as I enter the living room. Is there anyone around? Uh, Lizzie steps Desmond, out of the Lizzie. Lizzie steps out of the kitchen in chainmail and nothing else, and then sees you and jumps back into the kitchen. And goes, Mixby, what are you doing here? I I tilt my head confusedly to the side. I I came to take your measurements, ma'am. Oh, or... Give me a minute. Give me a moment. Hold on. Hold on. You hear some rattling of chainmail. There's some scraping of fabric. Desmond, and skin. are you Desmond? Are you back there? No, he was supposed to be coming home for lunch. And oh. then she steps out of the kitchen dressed up oh in her normal outfit and goes, okay, what do you want, Bixby? You really know how to ruin a woman's time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do. Um, I, I go by measuring her for, okay. for her. Do you dress. have a sewing proficiency? Do you know the right measurements yeah, to be I, taking? Yeah, I have a seam. I'm not particularly okay. good at it, but I do have the proficiency slot and I have a sewing kit. Fantastic. All right. Oh. Um, that's, it probably would have been faster if she just stayed in her chain mail. You can... Over the fabric, you take these measurements over yeah. clothes. Yes. Where do you go to get your tailoring done? <laughs> I have a feeling it's not actually a tailoring shop. <laughs> or it's a really how, good tailoring how, shop. How, 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 how much you know, attention do they pay to the inside seam? Do you dress the left, the right, the or right. both, sir? Does she have it like so she doesn't she just she doesn't have anything I think you to turn your head and cough wedding. a lot at this tailoring shop. <laughs> she doesn't have anything to say about Borsh's wedding. She's really happy She's, for him. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad Borsh is finally finding some love in life. We've been trying to set him up with people for ages, but well, you Does know, the they see he's an Akuban? orc. Akuban? They, um, I got some issues with the Akubanness of it, but who am I to stand in the way of love, even if history has shown them to be backstabbing, treacherous sons of bitches? Yeah. I, I do have an ancient history proficiency. Yeah, you would know that I the mean, the war between Akuba have... and Drekus was not a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is a lot of history there, and the two nations have a bitter, bitter hatred for one each, one another. <laughs> fuck um, the Akubans, am I right? Fuck the Akubans. You said it, Bixby. Now... <laughs> If you haven't com- this is like the most racist episode yet. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you don't mind, Desmond should be coming home for lunch, and you need to get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I have anything I can... Oh, she probably doesn't want me to bless shoot. their union in the name of Martha. I scurry out the back door. Why, why don't you go out the... Oh, God. <laughs> 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 Waves you away. All right. The party reconvenes is, in is Their daughter's away at wizarding school, right? Is, she's somewhere. She's not in the house at the moment, you hope. <laughs> All right, and I go to meet up with... She's upstairs with pillows over here. Just going, I feel like there was something, some information I wanted to get out of Lizzie, but maybe I... Maybe not. Maybe well, for your reference, because I don't know if it was mentioned before, but uh, my character is actually a Cuban. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what, is, <laughs> what does an Akuban even look like? I don't even. Is there a physical. Di- like, do they look. Is there an accent? Red-headed? Do you have an, an accent? Well, so Arcadia is all kind of Mediterranean tones uh, for skin and hairstyles. So uh, Akuban would be more like the um, Southeast Mediterranean, like Egyptian um, or Saudi Arabian. So Arabian. Then who's the. the- Tone and he's color. got red hair, doesn't he? Or yeah. is it like... Well, you know, he, Corey's got black hair and he's an elf. Weird shit yeah. happens, man. Yeah. yeah. I People, mean, uh, but I wouldn't, I don't think we realize he's a Cuban. I don't even know what it, I mean. Yeah. I, it's I, like, I, I, I don't, yeah. I don't think I've, I don't think Morton's ever seen an Akuban. I think he just read horrible, horrible accounts of them in the history books at the monastery. Yeah. And about and, them, like, yeah. You know, and in and shenanigans, these these things are minor details. In a, a normal campaign, they, this would be a much bigger deal, and we'd <laughs> we'd focus on it for a while. But you know, it's shenanigans, so it's fine. Um, but all right. there's landlocked. So they've got to like be. She's going to be like walking over here. Where is Desu? Dead inside. That's what I thought. Yeah, I, I was sure you were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Desu. Desu for sure. Um, Desu for sure. All right, so. so how do we, where, yeah. Oh, uh, Where can we all reconvene? Maybe you can all shenanigans. reconvene back in shenanigans. Borsh approaches you all, uh, gives Morton a nod, and turns to Corey and says, Corey, how about that bachelor yes. party? Are we ready? 
It's coming along. Good, because we only have an hour left, and we need to do the bachelor party and the wedding. Wait, it's been a week? No, but we have an hour of in-game time left. Oh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. It's um, been a whirlwind of a wedding. Yeah. So took I'm gonna, uh, in addition to the other preparations, then Neil, mm -hmm. uh, I'll have um, one of my best-looking dancers um, out, like at the north end of town, where the the bride would come in first, and you know, looking and kind of asking questions of travelers coming in, trying to trying to find the bride. Do we know where the bride is coming from? Also, from we're assuming from the north, from Cuba. Um, yeah, I think she well, she's taking a break. boat to um, Kershwick and then coming down the road. Yeah. So uh, his job is to intercept. To intercept. To intercept and explain the whole plan to um, Wait, who's fiance. Uh, one of the best looking dancers. Is oh. to intercept the bride on the way from Kershwick to Berkshire and explain the plan. Yes, yes. How is he supposed to find know who she is? He's going to ask travelers. He's going to be looking for a female traveler, an Akuban. I just ask everyone along the road. Are you a female Akuban that's going to Berkshire to marry Borsch? Well, assume yeah, I'm assuming he can you know visually ascertain the <laughs> male Akuban part. Okay. What if she's in like a Palin clan or something? Mm. So well, I mean, how we'll many see. people could be traveling down the road? All right, that's true. That's true. Um, and so, what is the plan for the rest of us? The rest of us. Uh, are we skipping ahead to the thing? Uh, no, like... but why don't you just let us know what the plan okay. is, unless you want to keep it a surprise. Uh, I was going to keep it a surprise. I'm just going to order, uh, since you mentioned that like cigarettes were the thing now, I'm going to order the best cigars I can. Rolled on the thighs of um, a Cuban virgins. <laughs> yes, we'll get a Cuban cigars. Nice. I hear they're the best. Yeah, they're rolled are there, are on there the thighs. Are there any relevant... That they are. Relevant marriage rituals that I would be aware of. Um, well, you guys need, still need to find a priest or a cleric of Nerul yeah, to do the ceremony. Oh. I, I'm not sure if I would take part. I mean, are weddings typically put on by... Right. Do we know where the nearest yeah. priest of Nerul is? Uh, you'd have to go... I mean, you guys don't spend a lot of time in the temples around here. There could be a priest of Nerul in I town. Sorts of time in the temples around here. I'm a... Corey, the yeah, temples so that I... you frequent are not the temples that I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> temples. Temples I think I think I would be. I mean, I assume I probably spend most of like the, my my off me, time at the temples. Give me a intelligence check to see if you can remember who is the one. If there is one around, if there is one. If there is one, and yeah. where where they could be found. Intelligence or a religion? Give me intelligence. Religion. You're trying to remember something, not. Nope, I can't remember. No. I can remember where temples are. Can I remember where a temple that might have a... Yeah, you'd have world? to go and search the or temples Or some yourself. temple. Yeah, you, you'd have to go and do so manually I, search. Yeah, so I, but I, I, I tell the party that I know where we're going and lead them okay. to some temple. The whole party arrives at one of the temples mm -hmm. in town. It is one of them grandiose types with all sorts of things inside of it. Um, and you guys walk in. And you see a few uh, clerics standing around giving a, a small speech to a bunch of kids who seem to be here on a, a school vacation or a school field trip. Um, they're all holding a piece of string in one hand while they're mm -hmm. seated on the floor. The The cleric is telling them about, you know, how the gods shape our life and bring us meaning. And through worshipping them, we will worship ourselves and find blah, blah, blah. Uh, Dave just like rolls his eyes. Worship ourselves. <clears throat> um, all right, so I guess we, I, we pull mm -hmm. one of. Can we pull one of the priests aside? You don't need yeah. three priests to tell a story to some kids. No, right? you don't. Uh, you can pull one of the priests aside. <laughs> yeah. He looks at you and gives you a bow and says, yeah. uh, "Father of Martha, how are you doing this fine day?" Uh, <laughs> maybe I should just decline to comment. Are you just <laughs> battered with dog blood? <laughs> <laughs> baptized in dog blood. You, you've seen, well, well, look like I'm you've doing seen better really days. 
I've actually healed the cured to full. I've just got probably a little bit of blood splatter on my burlap, but it yeah, it's burlap. It soaks up stains. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so nice. That's yeah, exactly. It's the adventurer's fabric. Mm -hmm. um, the adventurer's flannel. I don't know if you've heard, but Borsch the is is getting married. As you know, he probably has no idea who Borsch is. At, at shenanigans, cook. Oh. Well, anyway. He's the, requested the an orc they keep on hand. He's requested an Arulian wedding. Well, it's good to see that he's got some sense of propriety about the about these things. I know it's, isn't Arul the daughter of Martha? Is that how? Yes, you, Martha and Astaire. Yes, so she's a she's she's one of the good kids, right? Yeah, That's she's it. the goddess of love and family. The stair is the god of dancing. The stair is the god of do I, order. So do I have? Do I just have yeah, I never yeah, met? Yeah. Uh, do I not know of any Nerul or priests of Nerul in the town? Do you in the know rain. who it is? Uh, you probably Sting just haven't asked about. You know, you've been busy with other things. You spend a lot of time at shenanigans and a lot of time in kitchens and maybe less time in the temple than you should. You know, a bit more time clubbing dogs than you should. Yes. <laughs> That's on screen. I've been away for the last three weeks. You doing, club one doing... dog and nobody ever lets you forget I've, it. I've been away for three weeks doing doing priestly things, I swear. Yes, all sorts of Commit things. Commit one all little dog holocaust. It's <laughs> not a <laughs> dog holocaust. They're still alive. <laughs> Suddenly you're known as Dog Hitler. Dog <laughs> Do we... Is there a... Is there a mother of... Of Nerul. Uh, here, no, no mothers or fathers, but we, we do have a sister of Nerul. She would be Wait. willing to do the ceremony. I, I think it would Which, be good to bring such a, a villainous creature into the fold. Oh, he's I, villainous. Those, those are Kubans. He's an orc, isn't he? Yeah, but Wait, he's good he's marrying an Akuban? My, we certainly, we might need a couple of clerics and priests here to bless this union. I, I, will, I will be on. I will be on hand. Perhaps we should strategize what uh, anti curses or wards we should place. Yes, yes, Never very know. much so. And he puts his arm part way around Bixby and just like walks off with Bixby, and they discuss all the the whole matters of holiness. Perhaps a circle ceremony. of hands must be arranged. And we, yeah, we. If we could get enough priests, we could we could circle the whole wedding party, bless them all, get rid of all their sins. God. The image of Mother Ullman comes to mind in the back. Holy water, <laughs> holy water for sure. Let's go find this. Uh, I'm just gonna lean to this and priestess like, of Nerul and get started this way. Is she a cleric? No, she's just a, a priestess. Mm. All right, we're gonna take our third and final break, and when we come back, we have many details to get to. So we're gonna power oh, through goodness. it. See you guys on the other side of our break. Bye bye. <laughs> 